Hello and welcome to Ocean Research Project's first video showing our new research vessel, which is under construction. Uh, it was originally designed by Bruce Roberts. It's a Bruce Roberts 650. Uh, all the metal was then bent in the Netherlands and it was sent as a kit to Howdy Bailey in Norfolk and Howdy used uh, naval welders, the same guys who weld our aircraft carriers and destroyers, uh, welded together this vessel. It was commissioned in the year 2000 and it was never finished. She's 115,000 pounds, 72 feet overall, eight foot draft, 800 gallons of diesel, 212 horsepower diesel engine. She is just a beast of a boat and she's gonna make one hell of a research vessel when we get her done. Uh, the vessel has flush decks from the bow to the stern, but right now she's a big mess. I got a grill on a boat and a smoker and a random anchor and just all sorts of stuff strewn about because she's very much under construction. Uh, the pilot house needs a lot of work. I need to put windows in it. I need to redo the roof. I don't have any winches in here. I have to design the system. There's no main sheet connections on the boat. Uh, there's no tracks anywhere. There's a lot that has to be done uh, yet with the rig as far as sail control and sail handling. On the back of the boat, we have the workshop. This is where we cut all the wood because the boat doesn't have a finished interior. Right now, we are working on an aft cabin, the captain's quarters inside of the boat. And these are all the different uh, cherry drawer faces, uh, bed boards, drawers uh, for storage areas. And all of this started as boards of cherry. And it's all custom made piece by piece. There will be no veneer inside my boat, only proper hardwood and painted marine ply. So we did the forward cabin first. This will be the cruise quarters. Uh, it's about 75, 80% finished. So this was the first room that we did. Um, it still needs some work, but I think it's turned out really beautiful. It's all cherry hardwoods with painted marine ply. And that's gonna be the motif throughout the entire vessel. And I'm really happy how this room turned out. But this is the forward cabin. Uh, it's December right now. It's near the end of the year, 2020. So I got a fire going, uh, one of my heaters. Uh, you have the forward head, which is still very much under construction. Uh, and you have the shower room. I don't have a door, I just have a tarp. Uh, but it's mostly functional at this point. It just needs a little bit of details. And so yeah, this is the, I, I guess this is my foyer. The galley is a crucial part of any ship. And when we first got the boat donated, the galley looked like this. This was the second place that we really focused on because I needed somewhere to cook a meal. All the countertops are a birch from Scandinavia and all the trim is cherry that was out in the workshop. There was a bunch of boards. I put the biggest sink in the boat I could possibly stick in here. My sink is so big, I could sit in it and I could take a shower. <laughs> and the largest stove that I could fit, along with a really good hood. Uh, so when cooking bacon or anything that stinks, I can easily suck it all out. The engine room access is through the galley. Welcome to the engine room. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done in the engine room. It's a mess and there's various systems that need to be worked out. But we have the primary power source, a 212 horsepower Ford Sabre with about 80 hours on it and a single cylinder Kubota, which is just turns an alternator. It is a DC generator. It does not produce AC power, but it'll give you more than enough power to charge your batteries and then you could run an inverter. It's the system that the boat had when I got it, so I'm gonna stick with it. So this is the main cabin. Uh, the galley is that way. Uh, it's a complete mess in here. A lot of work needs to happen, and this room will be one of the last rooms to get finished because as we work on the boat, we walk through here and we don't wanna damage any of the woodwork or any of that kind of stuff. There will be refrigeration over here where the water cooler is. There will be some seating over here and some areas for books over there. But this is the starboard side 
of the main cabin where everybody's gonna hang out. So this is the port side of the main cabin. Eventually there will be a L-shaped seating here with a table. This will be the main table where people can hang out. They can eat dinner. Uh, the table will fold out. I'll explain all this in a video down the line. Uh, but this will be the main seating area. Right now, I have my turntables here. But normally, I put the lids on these cases, I cover it with a tarp, and I put a piece of wood on top. So this becomes a table for lighter items, and this is a table where we cut things inside uh, when we're not in the workshop. This is the VIP quarters, the, the captain's quarters, the only room on the ship that has a single berth. Uh, and in a couple of weeks, it's gonna be unrecognizable. I'll paint the walls an off-white. Um, there'll be varnish on the ceiling. There'll be varnish on the bedboards, the drawer faces. It's gonna be a beautiful cabin. Once this room is complete, we'll move on to the laboratory slash workroom. Right now, it is just a bunch of parts and pieces, but in another few weeks, we will start ripping it apart and building it out, uh, which will be great. So I'll have a place to put all my tools so they're not scattered about the boat. After that, we'll finish this cabin, which is the scientist quarters. It will have four bunks in it. It needs a lot of work. It's just a storage space right now, but it will eventually be where the scientists stay on the vessel. There's a lot of work to be done on this boat, but we're making good progress and it's gonna be beautiful when she's finished. If you enjoyed the video, please go to www.oceanresearchproject.org and click on the donate button. Any size donation makes a big difference trying to finish this vessel. Also, check out my film, Red Dot on the Ocean. You can see it on PBS or Amazon Prime. And check out my podcast, The Single-Handed Sailing Podcast. Okay, until next time.